are you terry harden here walt disney's legendary imagineer and you'll notice i started about five minutes later instead of 9 30. you hear my voice it is struggling today so i may have to keep this short but uh i took that five minutes to rest it a little bit and i'm hoping that it did what i wanted and i'm drinking lemon tea with honey And I'm going to get my pot and fill it again because I'm working really hard to uh, keep it going. But how are you today? As you gather, let me just grab my 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 teapot so I can keep my my um, my voice and not lose it in the middle of this broadcast. And I appreciate your patience. And then also, while we're doing that. Um, Let's see. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm just gonna just, uh, okay. I'm just going to put, uh, I'm sorry. It's Monday. You know, Mondays, you know, Mondays guys, right? Yeah. You know how I am with my Mondays. So I'm just going to do a switch over in case you guys, uh, I need to make a comment and I need a visual aid more visual aids, the better. And I'll try to keep my stories to a minimum so I don't lose my voice. There we go. Okay. All righty. I'll talk to you about a couple of things today, maybe. Oops. There it is. There we go. Okay. All right. We're all set. So now I'm going to get my, my teapot. Oh. This is super, super hot so that it helps, you know, warm my throat. And um, I'm just going to make sure that it gives me a good. And then I'm going to let it steep. But, yeah, this was from the tribe, Terry's tribe. Um, but anyway, if you're just joining us, welcome. This is not normally how I start by pouring a cup of tea and showing you a cool pot and a cool cup and all that. But uh, um, honestly, uh, my voice is, as you can tell, um, okay. yeah, if you're just joining us, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but <laughs> this is not my normal voice. And if you joined us before, welcome. Okay. Feel free to post anything you want in the comments. Hello. Good morning. Happy Monday. Uh uh, ah, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, I'm known as Walt Disney's legendary Imagineer. Let me do that. Okay. That's done. Whoosh. <laughs> and, uh, I've done Ghostbusters, Men in Black. I've worked with Michael Jackson, Liz Taylor, uh, a huge amount of people Google me. So Google Terry Harden, and then you'll know why I'm sitting here. Or maybe you won't know why I'm standing here before you. But uh, it'll be a little better. Or you can look up the two Wikipedia pages that I'm on. I understand that I can't post those myself, and I have not. But there are two Wikipedia pages that talk a little bit about me. How about that? <laughs> I'm a sculptor. I'm a, I'm a performer. I'm an artist. I'm an actress. A voiceover. Blah, 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 blah. They're pretty, there really isn't a lot of questions that uh, uh, I can't answer. But if I can't, I'll let you know. Uh, we have Ask Me Anything Friday, which is the main place where you can ask your questions. And also, um, I did the Dragon's Lair in Paris. So if you've if you've taken a look at, if you've been to Paris, Paris Disneyland, or Disneyland Paris, as they like to call it now, um, we called it Euro Disney in the beginning, uh, just food for thought, uh, you can go and check out the dragon. I met a lovely woman the other day who had just told me she had been to Disneyland Paris. And I said, Oh, did you see my dragon? And she went, dragon? Question mark. Ah! So I want to make sure I tell you guys that when you go to Paris, remember to go underneath Sleeping Beauty's castle and see a fully articulated 35-foot breathing, living, breathing dragon, um, uh, courtesy of yours truly. Okay? So there's a lot more. There's lots more stuff. I don't want to spend the whole time listing it. I want to jump into uh, this 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 uh, thumbnail I posted today for you guys. And I know I was late. That's because I didn't want to cancel. Honestly, I was afraid that my voice would, would maybe not make it. 
Uh, when I woke up today, I could barely speak. And you can tell I can speak a little bit, but I'm sounding like a frog. More like Peppermint Patty. Hiya, Chuck. Um, and uh, uh, and so uh, I waited because I didn't want to say I was going to do it and then turn around and say I wasn't going to do it. I don't know how you feel about that if you're counting on these broadcasts. But I think that would not make me a happy person. That would kind of make me sad, even though it's a good reason. <laughs> Talking like that doesn't work so well. I, I have to make a bunch of signs and hold them up. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. All right. We're working on it. We're working on it. It's getting better. Lots of tea and lots of honey, as my tribe said. So. Uh, before we get into the thumbnail, you know what I'm going to do if you've been here before. And if you don't, if you're new, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to suggest that you visit patreon.com slash Terry Harden and join the tribe, Terry's tribe. Why? Because your voice needs to be heard. This is a great community of people that help each other, that lift each other up, and they have a really big, generous hearts. What's in it for you? Well, for $5 a month, $60 a year, the price of one Starbucks coffee, at least the last time I looked, may not be that way now. Prices are going up, aren't they? Uh, but anyway, $5 a month, you get a Zoom call every Wednesday where we actually have a conversation via Zoom. And then um, before I come on Mondays and before I come on Fridays to broadcast to you, I do a private broadcast with my tribe. And then at the end of every month, we do a, I do a giveaway. Uh, I'm cleaning my garage, sort of. Um, I have a lot of things that as an Imagineer and as an artist, people, people have sent to me or give me, or I'm at an event and uh, I get these things over the years. Okay. So it's not like if you send me a gift, the next thing, you know, it's up <laughs> unless you say this is for the giveaway, which in many cases it is for the giveaway. And, um, and uh, I also am in a chalk with a chalk walk team and they are kind enough to allow me to take my bingo prizes and use those as gifts for my tribe. So I always ask, I always make sure I'm not going to hurt anybody's feelings when I do this with the, the pieces. But uh, if the, you know, because let's say you're the chalk walk team and you say, Hey, um, we'd rather keep the stuff and have it go to, you know, others. Uh, so you can play bingo, but you know, you just can't win, but they're too nice. They're too nice to say that they're just really sweet. And, uh, I don't win a lot. There are times I do like there was one day it was like really bizarre, but, uh, but anyway, those gifts are there. So you get that and you get me three times a week. So, uh, for $5 a month, it's pretty doggone cool. Um, there are other tiers that are higher. Uh, there's a behind the scenes tier for $10 a month. So, uh, if you want to see my behind the scenes, that is now getting populated. Uh, I did. I dropped a really nice video uh, last week, and I'm going to drop another one next week. I try to do one or two a month for you to see what's happening in my life behind the scenes. That's exactly it. It's all kinds of things. So there you go, patreon.com. Uh, the main reason I'm saying it is not what uh, I can do for you, oddly enough, but what this group can do for you. Um, They've taken care of me on a on a multitude of times, and and uh, because we have a private Facebook page and a private Zoom call, we can talk about things that I can't really discuss here a little deeper. You know, it's not always heavy, but it's a little deeper. We have a lot of things that we do, and I'd love for you to be a part of it if it's something you'd like to do. Okay, all right, that commercial's over. Uh, ha <laughs> ha. Well, you know, you got to tell people about stuff. How are you going to know about the Patreon page if I don't tell you? Also, how are you going to know that the Disney and a fan club is honoring me as a Disney legend on May 14th? And if you're in Southern California and you'd like to go, you can go. Uh, I will make sure that I have a link to where you go to sign up. But look for Disney and a fan club on Facebook and you can also Google it. Um, I'm sure they have other uh, other areas you can connect if you want to come to this uh, to this uh, honorarium. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm really excited about the award. Yeah. Also, uh, it's not just me. It's the amazing Kim Irvine. And for those of you who have watched, who watched, who have Disney Plus, we're going to start backwards. OK, those of you who have Disney Plus will remember Kim because her mother was the model for the Haunted Mansion 
um, Madame Leota. And Madame Leota is going to be honored. Kim's going to be honored. Kim has done a lot more than just be the daughter of the model for Madame Leota. So uh, she's going to be there. You'll get to see us both, two for one deal. So um, check it out if you're, you're going to be in the area. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you're just like, what did you say? I got confused, whatever. You can email me, terry at terryharden.com or find me on Instagram, uh, as you see here in the corner, uh, at Terry Harden Legend, okay? All right, now, let's talk about this uh, thumbnail that I gave you today about this food thing. So what I usually do when I want to talk to you about stuff, and I will admit most of it's Disney, uh, is I look at the feed and this time, and I thought feed was rather interesting because it's about food. I saw a few tweets and a few uh, listings about how Disneyland has decided to uh, uh, save money by giving you less food. Uh, apparently... The representative, and I don't have her name, and I won't do that to her, but she said that they were going to cut these corners. Well, she didn't use those words. She basically said she was reducing portions to help you with your waistline. It's a very interesting statement, seeing that people are so touchy about things like, could this be body shaming? I ask you, please post in the comments what you think. But I thought that was very interesting. <clears throat> and then if you looked at the thumbnail, uh, one of the ladies, uh, her name is Marlene, and I gave her credits. That's why when you look in that thumbnail, that really tiny uh, name is underneath that one photo. That's because that came from Marlene, and I wanted her to be uh, celebrated for the photo she took. But uh, she 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 saw this beautiful lobster roll sa lobster roll sandwich. On the menu or on the app, because now at Walt Disney World and Disneyland, you got to order this way, right? We're still doing that, right? Um, and she had to um, order, and it looked beautiful. Apparently, in Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, this lobster roll is the bomb, or at least it was. Uh, then next to it is a picture of what she actually got, which you barely saw the roll, right? It was like a big thing of lettuce and a blop of lobster. And it was like, where's the roll? So the first picture looks delicious. I mean, I had no idea the Magic Kingdom offered a lobster roll. Or shall I say, used to offer a lobster roll. And now it's kind of like a a, a scoop of lobster like you get at a, a your school cafeteria and some lettuce. And then I don't know if that was like a roll with it or what it was. But if you, you look at that thumbnail, it's really pretty sad. It's pretty sad. And uh, I agree with Marlene. She, she was very disappointed. And the, the lobster roll, which is supposed to come with fries. She didn't mention if it did probably does, but uh, it's 1995. Yeah. It's like, didn't she say 1695? I'm I'm mistaken. Thank you, Marlene. You're in my head going, no, 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 Terry, 1695, which sounds like a good deal when you look at the beautiful picture they put up on the website. But uh on the way, you know, you you order the food and stuff. But uh unfortunately, that's not what she got. And she wanted to let everybody know. And I thought that would be a great topic for conversation. Have you experienced this? in Florida or at Disneyland? Have you experienced that the portions that you're used to getting uh, are not only less, but don't look good and don't taste good? Because to me, you're taking real good care of my waist waistline. If the food tastes terrible, I won't be eating it, right? <laughs> but how do you feel about someone telling you that the main reason they're doing it or a, a, a reason is because uh, your waistline is too thick and it's time to get slim? And Disneyland's going to help you. <laughs> I thought, wow. Wow. That's what I thought. I thought, whoa. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to reserve my opinion. But I thought we'd see what you think. Yeah. Yeah. Thought that would be kind of a cool thing. Uh -huh. um, but anyway, allow me to finish chewing. This is the only breakfast I have today. And I didn't want anything too drying because of my throat. And we'll try to keep this a little 
We'll see. We'll see, right? Let's look at what you have to say today. Leo says, hello. Hello, Leo. Uh, happy Monday. This is Joe. Joe is Retro Exotica on YouTube. I just have a crystal ball. That's how I know. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Jenna. G Gianna. Sorry. See, it just cuts out when I don't know about it. Uh, I was at Disneyland this weekend. I saw the monorail was running yesterday. Really? Could people get on it? It's one thing to have it moving. It's another that allows it. It stops and lets you on. Is that happening or no? Also, was it crowded? Gianna? Was, was it crowded there at Disneyland? I always ask that question because a lot of people said, doggone, it's really crowded. So uh, I always ask. With this new appointment system, I think it was supposed to be less people, but maybe we're wrong. You know, now as we are coming out very quietly out of the pandemic, hopefully, hopefully, um, that people are saying it's really crowded. It's really, really crowded. So tell me what you think. I haven't been. And thank you for allowing me to finish this. I broadcast a long time on Mondays and Fridays. And I try to get my breakfast in before my Patreon page um, live. But today, I spent most of it drinking tea, trying to get my voice back. And it looks like it's holding steady right now. I'm praying. Okay, I'm done. So for those of you who don't like to people to talk while they're chewing, I'm done. But thank you for helping me out with that. So yes, were you at Disneyland and was it crowded? Um, what did you think about the food? Did you did you experience it? The last time I was at Disneyland was to celebrate my good friend and Terry's tribe member, Holly. She had a very monumental birthday. Like, you know, how you, you tick off certain milestones. She had a milestone birthday. And she invited me to come and celebrate it with her. And that was in January, near my anniversary. And we celebrated together. And I haven't been back. But I'm about to go again. Because I not only help Terry, the people in Terry's tribe. Terry's tribe helps me. And I seem to have this one problem, guys. I can't, I have been, let me say that, up until now, and thanks to the tribe, I have been challenged in um, getting appointments to go to Disneyland. I have the larger pass, the Magic Key Pass. And for me, it's a great pass. It works, okay? We have, we have figured that in order for it to be uh, financially a good thing, about eight to ten times because you get parking free, and to be honest with you, that's why I want that pass is because I don't want to have to worry about parking, the cost, all that kind of stuff. I just can zip through. They look at it. Bu -bu Yay, here's my ticket. Get going. Get out of here. Um, so that's why I like it. And uh, when we were looking at the key passes, I was I mentioned on a on a broadcast that you got to kind of decide what is what what is important to you when you invest in these passes. Should you invest in these passes? And what was important to me is parking. I like them to pay for the parking and it works really great for me um, because uh, then I make an appointment and I come. Main reason I go down nowadays is to see you guys. So you're coming in down like Holly did and you say, hey, Terry, can you meet me there and we'll see the park together, uh, Disneyland or California Adventure. It's a because Magic Key has both. And that's what I did. Well, now I've signed up for March 31st. I'm going to go see tribe member Evan. And then in April on the 21st, I'm going to go with one of my clients for his birthday. So you can see the pattern with me here. I don't necessarily go uh, for my own because I'm very busy here. I'm doing a lot of sculpting. I do a lot of Disney art on my own as well. Also, I'm uh, working on the amazing and incredible and very, very intricate Roly Crump chess set. He's the one that convinced Walt to make the Haunted Mansion scary. He's the legend that did that. And so, and so I'm doing that. And I have my Cheshire Cat. So my Cheshire Cat is available. 
Don't know if you've seen my little love, but I'm very happy to show him to you while I'm chatting about it. But he's still available, limited to 50. Uh, where are you, you little darling? He's here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Here you go. There's the Cheshire cat right there. Um, and uh, he's the next in the impressions line. Uh, so uh, go ahead and take a look on, you can go to um, terryharden.com, click on online store and see if he's what you want. There's about half left, half bought. So if this is something that you want, go to terryharden.com, click on online store in the bar above, and it'll take you right to the pussycat and a few other things. Okay. All right. So that's kind of that. I'm working on a multitude of things. So that's why Disneyland is touch base mostly when you guys are in town. Okay. Yeah. Because that's the most fun is seeing you guys. I am going one more day, May the 4th, because I'm a Star Wars nut. So may the 4th be with you. And to my surprise, Disney is really not doing anything. Well, an announced event. They might do something in secret. You never know. I don't know how they roll now. They're always full of surprises. But I'm not going to expect anything. But again, a group of people who love Star Wars, including myself, are going to gather on May the 4th. Most of them are from the tribe. But we're going to spend the day and just kind of, you know, Star Wars out. So so those are my Disney dates. And um, it's going to be cool. But uh, again, remember the 14th of May with the Disney and a fan club because they're a great club. And if you're a collector that's looking for something unique and special, most of the time the Disney and a fan club is going to be the place to go to see it and to see great people. And among those great people are going to be Kim Irvine and myself being honored as Disney legends. So I hope you can make it. Um, look up Disney Anna Fan Club, and there you go. Okay, let's see what you have to say. I've chatted quite enough. Um, there's Evan. I went to Rancho de Del Zocalo a few months ago, and the portions were huge, says Evan. I got the taco salad for $15. I went a few weeks ago, and for the same $15, the taco salad was half the size. Was it still good, Evan? Because half the size is one thing. I mean, honestly, I think that food portions are too big to begin with, but I think it should be your decision whether or not you eat the whole thing or not. You know, I, it's nice that they do that. So I don't know about the other. What do you think? Uh, hi there, Michelle. Good to see you. Love the new Snow White ride, uh, which has a happy ending for a change. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. I haven't been on it. I don't know if I've been on the new one. I was on a Snow White ride, but I don't know if I've been on the new one. But I do remember happy ending, and I thought it was fun, too. Yeah, I, I did. I thought it was fun. Something for me to do when I go, right, Jana? Uh, take a spoonful of honey. My vocal teacher highly recommends it for the voice. Yes, when I go in, I will do that. Thank you. The super duper all natural kind with the honeycomb inside is one of my favorites. So I can be able to do it. There is some in here. So thank you for that, Michelle. So sweet of you to be concerned for me. Nate, missed the tribe this morning, but made it here. Hello, all. Well, Nate. Uh, uh, this time, uh, we didn't draw your name, but we actually drew a lot of people that were present today, which was very exciting. So, uh, it was cool, but we did miss you. So, um, glad you're here now. Darren Michaels. Hello. Hello. Take some throat lozenges or at least some hard candy, maybe, uh, some Tootsie Pops throughout the day. That's what Leonard Nimoy did to keep his throat moist. Really? Okay. I'll remember that. Oh, this feels so good. And who doesn't like a Tootsie Pop, right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Angie says, hello, hello, Angie. Angie, I want to thank you because on Friday, Angie uh, told me about Adventures by Disney. Now, when Adventures by Disney first came out, they were 25,000, like 15,000. 10,000, 25,000, 18,000 to go on these exclusive trips with Disney. 
And so I was of the mindset, and this can happen. I was of the mindset that that's what they were. And I really wasn't interested in going and doing that because I can show you a heck of a trip uh, around Paris for a couple of weeks that, uh, that uh, is, is a lot less expensive. It's an investment, but it ain't that. So Angie mentioned to me that apparently the prices are now lower. I don't know if it means there have more people to make it worthwhile or not. I'm actually going to, Angie, today talk with a representative of Destinations by Disney because I'm very curious about their new found model. And I'd like to see if I can go on one. So thank you, Angie, for bringing that to my attention on Friday's broadcast, because uh, you're right. It's a it's exciting because there are some very, what I call, reasonable prices now. Now, you may not think that three to $7,000, which is what Angie told me about the trip I want to take, um, is, is um, a good deal. You might think that's a little pricey, but uh, Disney is able to get you in places, or they used to, but I think the same, the same applies, get you opposite people and inside areas you couldn't, you couldn't normally get into because you don't have the clout that Disney does. So it's worth this extra investment to have the opportunity to meet some of these people. And when I travel, I like to meet, um, I'm an, un, I'm a different traveler. I'm not about the touristy spots. I really am about digging deep and meeting the people of the places that I see. So Quick story. I don't know how quick it'll be, but <laughs> when I was in Norway, my mother-in-law took uh, the family to Norway. And while we were there, we stopped at various places. And at one point, everyone said they wanted to go see uh, the restoration of a cathedral that was happening. These are artisans that take a cathedral that is crumbling. The statues are losing noses or faces. You guys know this if you've ever gone to Europe and seen the many beautiful cathedrals. Some have wear and tear because of water damage. Water, although a very patient material, is excellent for breaking down stuff because it's a very patient material. So um, they all went to see the church, and I went to a special um, I went to a special thing on the ship about the cathedral and found out that the woman who was given the presentation actually knows and works with the people, the artisans who were restoring. And afterwards I spoke with her and she gave, got me into where they actually are doing the sculpting. You follow me? So instead of going to the, the cathedral and going, oh, that's where they're repairing it. And ooh, ah, ooh, ah, I actually got to meet the artists who were, carving. And they actually invited me to hang with them and possibly carve a little. But unfortunately, I was there for only one day. But oh my gosh, how exciting to sit with the one who had, who was heading up that whole restoration project and to see the stone they were using to talk to the various sculptors. Some did faces, some did the filigree, all this kind of stuff on this very, very, very uh, historical uh, cathedral. So that's the kind of stuff I like. I like to see I like that peek behind the curtain and Angie pointed out that uh, this is des Destinations by Disney. This is kind of what they do. So that'll be the questions that I ask. I'll keep you guys posted in case you're curious about that. And should I go on a trip? I will put that on the behind the scenes on my Patreon page and share little blurbs with you as well. Okay. But again, thank you, Angie. I really appreciate it. Ask not what Terry Harden can do for you. <laughs> Clever Joe. Hello, Shomo. Welcome. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume it's something nice. Uh, a food feed. Fie on them. Yes. <laughs> Steven. Food feed. Fie on them. Yes. I mean, I don't, you know, I think what's got me a little um, more, I was just, no, not, not sick. Thought maybe these were swollen, but they're not. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to guess why my voice just all of a sudden decided to give up the ghost. It could be that I was entertaining London. London was in the house and uh, uh, for a few days. And then I had my tax lady here for the weekend. So maybe I just haven't had any time to rest my voice. It could be as simple as that. But I am going to keep an eye on it in case it's something more than just hoarseness. So thank you. Love you guys. Um, 
charge more, give less. Item 3734 of things Walt Disney never said. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, Joe. You're right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, I'm sorry about the food. Now, what I usually do here in Southern California is that I, there's like one place, maybe two that I love at Disneyland to eat. There used to be another, but they got rid of it, the Tahitian Terrace. But now I bounce over to California Adventure Park to eat at Carthay Circle, or I eat at the um, Lamplighters because their food is phenomenal. I can get that poke bowl, which is raw fish, and it looks like it comes in a small moon. It's just delicious. And it's really fresh ingredients. And I really love it. When I'm at Walt Disney World, I like to go to Yak and Yeti and the Animal Kingdom. I actually don't need to go to the Animal Kingdom. I love to go to the Animal Kingdom to be able to sketch. but um, And I love it. But um, what I really love is Yak and Yeti. Yeah. I've ridden some of the rides there. I did get to ride Pandora after waiting like three years. I finally got to do that. But what I mean is Yak and Yeti is like one of my favorite restaurants over there in Florida. I just love it. Just love it. But there is a, or there was, I don't know if it's still there because it's been a long time since I've been to Florida. I haven't been to Florida since before the pandemic. But um, but uh, there's a TGI Fridays that's at a place called The Crossroads. And there is a, um, there's a couple of servers there that I've become really good friends with. And I like to go in the off hours so that we can stand around and talk while we're eating, while they stand with us and talk to us. So are you seeing, a, are you are you noticing a theme here? Because that's my theme. My theme is that I love the experience and being with the people. And, uh, and that's the idea. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. All right, cool. Bravo. Um, Monday, my air conditioning's getting a uh, tune up. Uh, also, uh, uh, so it's a great place to eat. Uh, TGI Fridays. I'm not a TGI Fridays fan, the chain. I'm a TGI Fridays, the one in Florida that's right outside White Disney World because of the people. So the people, the people, the people, you know, that's the way it was. That's the way I am. And that's what I love. Yeah. That's what I love about it. So, um, so Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what else you have to say. My daughter and I enjoyed the lobster roll in at in Disneyland at Fowler's. So Pam, tell me about that. Where is Fowler's and is it in Disneyland or Walt Disney World? Because I don't know Fowler's. It's unfamiliar to me. So uh, see, I don't know everything. I don't know what this thing is. So I apologize, guys. Let me just... Um, for those of you who have been on this before, there we go. So we can get it to shut up. Um, my cousin, uh, does my shopping for me as a favor just to be able to talk with me, which is kind of weird. He could just come over. doesn't have to get me groceries, but he likes to, he's been doing it all through the pandemic and just doesn't seem to want to stop. And honestly, it's very helpful for me. So I'm grateful to him. Um, but, uh, that's why the phone is not on silent because sometimes he has a grocery question and it's amazing how people don't necessarily know that you're broadcasting. They always seem to call while you're broadcasting, <laughs> even though I've been doing it the same for uh, a couple years now, <sighs> a little patience, right? Right. Exactly. Um, so yeah, Pam, I'd love to hear more about that lobster roll. One day, Disneyland will try to sell one bean and charge fifty dollars. They'll call it Jack and the Beanstalk's Magic Bean, Joe. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. Limited edition Jack's Magic Bean, and there you go. <laughs> I hope you feel better. Raspy voice or normal for singers like myself that overdo it. Well, and I think I did because, uh, last week I had London in the house and then I had London in the house and then I had my tax lady over the weekend and, um, and taxes, uh, are a challenge for me because as an artist, numbers are not my favorite thing. Um, but uh, she left uh, Sunday morning to go be at Disneyland. She's a Disneyland fan. She's going to give herself some R&R &R for three days 
lovely woman. And Disneyland is like, for many of you, a place to restore that uh, and rejuvenate your body when you're feeling down or reality just to gets to be a bit too mean, then Disneyland is the place. And since she went on Sunday, I mean, I could pop over and see her, but today I woke up and the voice, I'm broadcasting the voice is like weird. <sighs> yeah, Monday's a day when I'm trying to get stuff done because it's such a crazy day. I never know what it's going to, what's going to unfold. So, yeah. Angie says the idea of mobile order is great if you want to use it. However, they need to allow people to come inside and order in line again. They do at the California Adventure Park. I actually went to, is it PWA, where they shrink and, where they shrink and make the food be bigger on purpose? And it's not because your waistline, that's the technology in, in uh, Avengers Land. And uh, I popped in there on the 3rd of January when I saw Holly to see how it worked because I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen Avengers at all. I hadn't been to the park in months. Well, year, well I was there for, I was at Disneyland for the soft opening with the uh, employees, cast members and employees. But uh, then I wasn't there. So I had not seen Avengers when it opened. And um it's okay. I think right now it's really kind of a struggle because of the of the pandemic. So maybe as we come out of the pandemic, they'll be able to have more and more of the characters you love from Marvel meet and greet because it seems that that seems to be the major attraction of Avengers is that you get to meet your Black Widows and your and your your Iron Man and your you know, we see Spider-Man, but uh but it doesn't seem to be a lot of people that you get to meet and greet because of the pandemic. So, and there's that Spider-Man ride, which some people say is cool and doesn't, it's not cool. I haven't been on it, but to get back to the food thing, that place allowed people to be in line. So you can get in line and you can order there at that uh, test kitchen. And uh, it was, it had a big long line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the cast member told me to order online because then you can just walk right up and get your food nice and hot. So I guess it's to each their own, right? Yeah. You know, um, I guess if you get it right away to you, it's going to, it, you know, you can say, hey, it's cold or whatever. <laughs> but honestly, you can still say that, right? So, so I agree with you. I hope that they do soon, too. I don't want to have to run everything through my app. Yeah, especially since. Uh, so Angie says she doesn't want to have to run everything through her app. At Disney, this is really true because Disney's towers are terrible. You know, their Wi-Fi is the worst. Has it gotten any better? Am I wrong? And, and you know, you've got people checking in. You've got people, you know, pulling up their pass, whether it be a ticket or a pass code. Um, and then you're parking. And then you're, you're, you're ordering food. I mean, I think you can go in live and shop. I think I did that on the third, or actually I did that uh, May of 2020. Did I? Yeah. 2020 or was it 2021? Oh, the years go together like watercolors with this, with this pandemic, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, hopefully we will not have to worry about it much longer. And I hope everyone is staying safe and being safe. Yeah. Yeah. It is a drag to put everything through the app at Disney because if it, if, if the Wi-Fi isn't working, uh, a lot of, a lot of my tribe says to put it on cell because the cell works faster and more efficiently. So I don't know who your, your, your um, cell service is, but that may not be for every cell service, but try it. See if that app starts to give you trouble, try uh, getting off Wi-Fi and see how your cell service is. Yeah, that's what their advice is. They say it works a lot better and allows you to get a ticket to galaxies, you know, to the to to the um, to things in Galaxy's Edge that you can't normally get. Um, they say doing it um, on the cell phone works better. So you can let me know. Lobster rolls are the best, says Deanna. And are they at Disneyland? Because they, if you saw the picture on my thumbnail, it's not so the best anymore. <laughs> you think that was a fluke, baby? I don't know. I loved the first photo in that cool bun. That looks just classic to me. So I was like, ooh, where is it? I want to go try it. And then she showed what she got. And it was like, oh, maybe not. So Pam says, pre-COVID, as we have not been to Disneyland in over two years, don't even get me started 
on Christine McCarthy and her unacceptable comments. This is it. I wasn't going to say the name, but now that Pam did, there you go. This is the lady who said that made the comment about, you know, a lot of you need to watch your waistline. So Disneyland is going to make sure you do it. <laughs> Wow. When I saw that, I thought, ouch. You know, I thought, ouch. Because it's it's kind of, I don't know. I, I thought, you know, here's people getting upset and wanting, you know, Princess and the Frog to replace Splash Mountain. I'm not going to say that's as intense as, you know, saying derogatory things to people of color. But it is still kind of, you know, it's still saying derogatory things to people. So I'm sitting there saying to myself, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm just stirring this in. Saw that I had a little more honey left, honey. And I'm giving myself that. Really want to thank you guys for understanding. Of course, your alternative is me. <laughs> so there we're there we're back yeah wow and pam you you said it i like to use cash on vacation as it keeps me on budget i don't want to tie credit cards to my accounts that makes sense there are some there are a lot of people that don't want to do that and honestly if you're on a disney cruise and the other thing i was going to talk about is i saw a thing come by 10 great things to do on a disney cruise and uh, i was going to talk about that today but um, instead, I'd say number one is take it. If you can, you know, Disney has uh, some bargains on their cruises. You just got to dig deep, according to my tribe, and uh, you want to take one. They are amazing. They are wonderful. They are magical. The best, the best, especially if you have a family, because you can actually have private time with yourself. You'll actually be able to sit and read a book while your kids go have a good time because there are various levels of things that Disney, I think the Disney cruise is the best example of Walt's wishes to date right now. So, uh, yeah. So, um, the reason I thought about the Disney cruise when Angie's talking here is they don't allow you to use cash. You have to attach a credit card to your tag and then your, um, it's like a wristband. Okay. And, uh, the card you just tap and it's, it puts all the charges to your room. But that is so convenient that if you're not paying attention, as Angie says, your budget can be blown. And um, I had a woman one time that was having so much fun. Uh, when she got the bill, it was something like $5,500. And I know she wasn't thrilled. So you got to watch out with that card because it's really easy to tappy, 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 tappy. So uh, like Angie says, you can also... Um, because they require this on the cruise, you can also put a cap so that when you're getting dangerously close, Angie, they will alert you. So uh, they don't want you, you know, they, at least when I took the cruise and it's been before the pandemic, I'm going to assure you that, you know, maybe they're cutting back on the cruise. So you watch your waistline <laughs> getting, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, this is the way it was uh, before the pandemic. I loved, I love the cruises. I think they're beautiful. There were passengers on the monorail, but it wasn't open. Okay, so they're testing it out or something, maybe, or checking it out or something. You know, special, special ride opportunity. Breakfast suggestions for Terry smoothies. Yes, I actually have a uh, a shake that I drink, but it's milk-based, and so not good for my throat, so I had to skip it today. Yeah, I usually do um, a smoothie, and it has milk product egg, those kind of things that don't necessarily help with your voice when you're trying to do it. So uh, I'm keeping it to tea right now and a little bite of uh, Pop-Tart, which may not be the best, but uh, but it works for what I need so that I can stand here and still have it. But thank you, Joe. Yes, it was crowded at night. At Wow. DCA wasn't. Fireworks were wonderful. Seeing them from Fantasyland, says Gianna, loved the pepperoni flatbread pizza in Fantasyland. And where do you get that, Pinocchio? Do you get that at Geppetto's? The, the 
pepperoni flatbed pizza. You know, a lot of times Disneyland's pizza just wasn't cutting it. So to hear somebody say they like it, uh, I'll have to go out and give it a try. I don't eat a lot of pizza, but uh, I'll always try something one time. So thank you for that bit of advice there, Gianna. Um, the D Disneyland key passes are worth it. I got the Enchant Pass. No parking. Walked to and from the Westin Anaheim Hotel. Got blisters on my toe to prove it. Yes. Yes. In fact, uh, somebody reached out to me just, I think they emailed me asking me a good place to stay that wasn't on park property. And I like the best Western that's right at the stoplight on Harbor Boulevard. You fall out of your hotel on that stoplight. You cross over and you get in line on the harbor side. It's really nice. They use, they also, depending on how busy it is uh, at their hotel, they'll offer uh, $15 parking to those of you that uh, want to park and be closer because of the tram. Now that the tram is running, I don't know if they're still going to offer that, but you can always ask if you're not staying. Now, when you are staying uh, at that hotel, they do have parking work out for you. So you don't have to go take your car and park it there. You just walk across and go to Disneyland. But they're good sized rooms, very clean. And I mean, how long are you staying in a hotel room? You're not going to stay there and watch TV. You're basically looking for a place to sleep and a place to get ready to go to Disneyland before rope drop. Am I right? So it's very nice. It's a nice little place. I like it a lot. Evan says taco salad was still just as good. There you go. So a little less food leaves room for the churro or the Dole Whip, right? <laughs> Hello, Evelyn. Uh, I wish I could be there with the tribe on May the 4th, says Linda, but I don't have the money to travel across the country from New Jersey. <laughs> well, Linda, thank you for telling me that you are in New Jersey because uh, in, in if and when I am near there, I will give you a shout out. Okay. We were talking just the other day of a gift my husband might give me that could be near where you are, not necessarily super close, but a lot closer than cross country. And so maybe we can meet up if it does happen, you know, at some point in the world, I'll let you know. Okay. But, uh, but New Jersey is lovely and uh, uh, we'll see, you know, but I'll keep it in mind. I always announce if I'm going to be near somewhere, if I'm traveling, just in case you want to go. And it looks like I may be in Arizona on my birthday. I'm still trying to work that out. Uh, near Williams. And, uh, so, uh, I told you, I don't go to the places you expect me to go to because it's not what I'm looking for. But if I am and you can get there, then, uh, we'll talk about it. See if we can organize a lunch or something. All right. Yeah. Always. I won't be able to make DCA in May, says Gianna. I already spent money that, uh, I already spent, I think she means the money that she could afford, uh, at this time. I did go to the event Remember the future Disney. Remember the future Disney at the 1964 New Year's Fair. I won in a raffle. Wow, girl, you won it in a raffle. Oh, I always dream of winning something in a raffle. I can't. I well, I should not say that because you just reminded me that I did win something in a raffle, and that was um, uh, a trip to sail with the Kennedy family, as in John F. Kennedy. And of course, John F. Kennedy was not there, unfortunately, uh, nor was his son, but the son's descendants and his brother, uh, or his Robert Kennedy's son, Ron, uh, Ron, he was there doing the event and it was for a charity event. And I, I won the opportunity to go and sail on the glide, which is Robert F. Kennedy's um, um, boat, and uh, and we did it with him. It was fun. It was really fun. I got to meet the matri matriarch. I get to meet uh, the mother to John F. Kennedy and Robert Kennedy. Um, kind of like meeting the queen, actually, who was about to celebrate her platinum um, uh, jubilee, which has never happened in London, they told me. So, so yeah. So, it was cool. It was cool. Nate says, awesome. He missed us all as well. We really meet Miss Nate. I cannot wait to come and see you get your award. I cannot wait for you to come and do the same. 
Now, Nate actually has commissioned me to do a one of a kind piece and he got to see it uh, last Friday via, via a quick uh, FaceTime call. I was hoping he, I could surprise him with it here, but, uh, his plans changed and he wasn't able to come and see me. So, uh, we did it via, via zoom and, um, I've got to actually finish, uh, the skirt up so I can get her cast in wax, but, uh, I'm excited for you, Nate. I'm excited to do this. It's been so much fun and I'm glad that you love your piece. Uh, what we may want to do is show it to uh, the tribe since you're a member of the tribe, but I'd love to show it on a day when you are there at the Zoom call. So keep me posted on that, will you, Nate? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Show, please. It doesn't want to. Oh, Gina. Oh, goodness. Are we? We're okay. Wow. Wow. There was a lightning bolt right across my feed right now. Um, apparently StreamYard said they have a connection issue and it's not me because I have full on Wi-Fi. but apparently that's what did it guys. So I apologize for that black screen you got just booted me right out. It said, goodbye, Terry. And the problem is it keeps running just without me. <laughs> So it's very, 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 very weird. But anyway, um, let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, here we go. I'm just looking in your comments. Oh, yes, there it is. Ah, yay! Gina gets to talk now. Keep me posted on the rates for Disneyland Paris. I will. I will. Uh, when I do my trip, you mean? My special escorted trip? I'm thinking of doing it in 2023 or 2024. And the reason I'm waiting is because uh, I want to see what this pandemic's going to do. And I want to treat you guys like, come here, come here, get away, get away. I'm excited to hear more about what you find in Adventures by Disney. Yeah, I'm supposed to give a, a call to them today. Got a couple things I got to do today, and that's one of them. So, Angie, I definitely will keep you posted. Booked our hotel, air far, and rental car for September. So excited to bring the nieces out for the first time. Cannot wait for them to meet you. Yes. So, again, guess where we're going? We're probably going to be going, you know, because they, they, Nate's going to get them into Disneyland. Isn't that special? And uh, as soon as he knows the date and as soon as it becomes available, I will reserve it. This is so amazing. What an incredible experience. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was great. And I, I'm happy. You had an entire city of London, England <laughs> at my house. Well, they hadn't come since the pandemic. So um, they would mention what they needed. And you know me, I want to help you if I can. So there's a secret place you can see the Hollywood sign. And go like this, like you do at t with Tinkerbell when you're posing at Disneyland. You can do that with the Hollywood sign. You can get that close. And actually, people can read it. Yeah. So I, so people who live in Southern California know these tips. Also, uh, my friend Andreas, who is a who loves history, wanted to go to places that had history. And so we went to Musso and Frank's, which is a very famous restaurant. If you've seen the Kaminsky me method, you'll know about Musso and Frank's. And then he asked me to take them to another restaurant. So I did that has historical meaning. We've got several here and I try to remember. So that way, if you guys ask me that question, I'm not going uh, McDonald's. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we love the Lamplight Lounge. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's my favorite by far. It is my favorite. And Holly and her husband and her kids and I had lunch there and it was just spectacular. That moon meal. Loved it. Um, I call it the moon meal. Fowler's Inn is in Disneyland across from the Haunted Mansion where they dock the Columbia. Ah, well, I'll have to take a look. 
Um, yeah, I don't remember. Fowler's in. It's not the marketplace, right? Because you were saying it's it's across from where the Columbia. It's not the marketplace. I'm going to have to check it out. I never even heard of this, Pam. So thank you. Thank you very much. Space Mountain and Matterhorn kept breaking down this weekend. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. What Did it break down? Well, <laughs> what's cool is when it breaks down with you on it, isn't it? You get to see things you didn't normally get to see. There I go again. I guess it is technically called Harbor Gallery Description of Roll. Seasoned lobster with celery and onions on a buttered roll topped with fresh chives and served with chips, $14.99. Now that's a little different because it was $16.99 before, but that's the Walt Disney World version. Let's be real. So let me see, Pam, what that one. I'll check that other one. But uh, the the one that I showed on my, my thumbnail today is from Walt Disney World. What she saw and what she got. Uh, dear Marlene. So uh, I was grateful. I thought it was something to discuss. It just seemed more important. Um, Red Rose Tavern in Fantasyland has really great flatbread pizza. Sounds wonderful. Yes. Yes. That's lovely. Boy, I'm loving that you guys are telling me where I can eat at Disneyland because I didn't think there were many places you could. When we were there in February, most restaurants that had, had mobile order were allowing guests to be in line for standby ordering. Yes. Um, or you could do the mobile. Yes, yes. And 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 when I was in January, that's exactly what happened. And the cast member said, why would you stand in line when you could just mobile order it? Well, just mobile order it is sometimes not possible because their Wi-Fi is so terrible. So uh, if your Wi-Fi is terrible and your cell service is terrible, you're in terrible world, what else are you going to do? Yeah. And right now, guys, it's the Food and Wine Festival, isn't it? Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. So you get to do the food and wine festival in California Adventure, and that uh, hopefully is really fun because uh, I like that festival, you know. So, yeah. You can order and eat in the restaurants again, Nate says. Shop in the stores. Even the restaurants like Carnation Cafe that were closing early are now moving back to regular full-time hours. That's wonderful. So that'll be great. Yeah, that'll be great. Um uh, my friend ate at the Carnation the other day and said the food was awful. So hopefully their food won't be awful because I've always thought of their food as being great. But uh, she said no. She wasn't happy about the food when she went uh, last week or so. Anyway, how about Disney's financial waistline? <laughs> they seem rather gluttonous in the past few years. Maybe they should financially fat shame them by not buying their overpriced food. And he says, maybe we should financially fat shame them by not buying their overpriced food or their overpriced products, right? Yeah, because, you know, Joe brings a, has a good point. You know, the financial waste time seems to be rather, rather jolly for, for them, doesn't it, as it keeps expanding? Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you, Joe. Yeah, it's, that's very interesting. Hello, hello, Connie. I know, I've been drinking so much tea, Connie, with lots of honey in it. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Whenever we eat at WDW, my boyfriend and I share a meal. Yeah. Do they charge you extra? Oh, I shouldn't say that on the public channel. I should have said this on my Patreon page because they might <laughs> they might take advantage if they don't. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Because <laughs> now that we, it's going to cost more. Ah! Um, throat coat tea. Yes, I do have some of that. I actually did uh, lemon ginger today and it's it's really helped as Connie Lane said. So thank you, both of you. Um, you meet Jim Henson. I think the question is, did I? And yes, I did. And uh, worked with him on several things before he passed away. So yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Yep, yep. That's the short version, longer version during Ask Me Anything Friday. Uh, I love their flatbread. I hope it stays. Uh, flatbread is not so hard to produce. Do you know what I mean? You can probably, it's kind of like popcorn. You can charge a pretty decent, ridiculous price. We'll still love it and, uh, and profit well. So I'm kind of thinking the flatbread will stay. This is my opinion, of course, but I'm kind of thinking it will stay. Yeah. 
Wow, you met Rose Kennedy. That's cool. I did. I tell you what's really weird about it, and I'm just going to touch base on it a little bit because I want to keep my voice. But um, but uh, uh, when you are in uh, Massachusetts and you are sailing on one of the ferries to uh, Martha's Vineyard or to Nantucket, one of the things you see on the ferries are men with these giant cameras. The kind of camera that it looks like it's got to sit on the shoulder of another person because the lens is like this big around and looks really heavy and you don't understand how it can be a little bitty camera on the other end do anything. But uh, they're all there. They, they line up and their cameras are pointed towards what's called the Kennedy compound. And so there's nothing like meeting Rose Kennedy in the Kennedy compound and looking up and seeing all those cameras pointed at you. It's very surreal because a lot of them um, are not allowed to be on the uh, Kennedy compound. And the only way that they can get pictures is to have those monstrous uh, dinner plate lenses pointed at the compound and hope they catch someone. We actually walked through John F. Kennedy's house and were given a water. Um, <laughs> it's just... Crazy, crazy life, yeah? I'll see if I can put some behind the pictures on that for my behind the scenes, guys. Uh, because, yeah, those are fun pictures. Yeah, they. you'll know he's a Kennedy. That's all I'm going to say. Nate says, and I knew I would love it, but wow, I am so in love on how it's turned out. You are incredible. He means the sculpture, which I'm not going to say what it is. That's Nate's place, but I'm hoping that since he is a tribe member, he will uh, be present and we can share uh, how it's coming along with the tribe. So another perk for joining uh, Terry's tribe. Nate says, there you are again. Yeah, isn't that weird? That was really weird. And StreamYard sent a big blue banner that it was on their side, that the that the, that the snafu was their side. Because immediately I looked to make sure my wife, my uh, internet was behaving, and it was. So um, my internet has been solid as a rock. So I didn't know what had happened. And I tried to get in, and I tried to get in, and I tried to get in, and it kept kicking me out. And so I waited a couple of seconds, and then there I am. But weird, huh? Weird, weird, weird. You know, but we have to re remember that this goes across the globe. This goes all around the world. And I mean, when I was a young kid, to call my dad, from Austria, which was an Iron Curtain country in 1977 when I went to see the Queen's Jubilee at 19 years old, that it cost $1,000 a minute. So I called my dad for 30 seconds just to tell him I was okay and hung up because I didn't want him to <laughs> have to pay $1,000 to talk to his daughter. But my dad, because I was 19 and it was I was the first one to be in Europe and not be in the service, uh, my dad wanted me to call him once a week to tell him I was safe. I was with two of my friends and we were backpacking all over Europe in uh, 1977, the year of Star Wars. So I saw Star Wars for about a month, 67 times in one week. And then I boarded a plane for Europe. And then when I came back, uh, I was on The Price is Right as a contestant and told them I had seen it 67 times. And the next thing you know, I was standing on the stage of a show I knew nothing about. Uh, but anyway, if this is, if this has heightened your curiosity, or your, if this has heightened your curiosity as to what the hey is Terry talking about, ask it this Friday and I will explain more. But yes, my Star Wars adventure is quite an odd and unusual adventure because if you haven't noticed by looking at me, I am odd and unusual. So of course those stories are going to be like that. So if you're interested, uh, give me a shout on Friday. That's Ask Me Anything Fridays. Okay, for a minute, I thought the Russians were <laughs> cyber attacking, <laughs> but the feed kept going on, both YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was weird. It was really weird. I've never had that happen before. But uh, I've known to exercise patience. My husband has taught me. I mean, this is not the waters that I swim in, the, tech the technology of social media. I'm doing it because it's a way to reach you. 
And it's important to reach you when I want to let you know about my Cheshire Cat or I want you to, you have questions and and you want help. And you've noticed that a couple of times I've showed a couple of um, um, digital drawing tutorial, just just not, I mean, just tapped on it during my Ask Me Anything. But I'm, I'm here for you on those days. And um, so I, I'm getting it. But But in the real world, guys, as an artist, I spend a lot of time on my own with the TV going, uh, with a show that I can play in my head. Why I sculpt pieces for people. So um, to, to set it up so that you can see what's happening during my process is a little challenging for me. I'm 65. I'm used to talking direct. Zoom is an interesting experience. So for those of you who Zoom was a real experience for you once you couldn't get out and meet people face to face because of the pandemic. Um, thank God we had it. I mean, what would we do if it was like the, you know, the illness that that big flu, whatever it was in the you know, earlier in the year when there was no um, social media or internet or anything. I mean, thank God it was here so that we could still communicate with each other because um, it can be very lonely. I'm good with myself, but that doesn't mean that everyone is good with themselves. So that's why I put myself out here. Um, that's why I do it. So, uh, yeah, I was glad that <laughs> black, <Woo. laughs> you know, uh, Panther at night was what they were showing, I guess. <laughs> you don't get to see it very well unless you have a flashlight. Thank you for telling me that. Um, angered the, angered the Tiki fan. Yeah. Who angered the Tiki fan? <laughs> As you know, Kev and I are interested in your Paris trip. Yes, I do. Also, you want to come to the retreat, don't you? Yes, don't worry. The Paris trip is going to happen. Um, I will do it again. The only reason I'm hesitating, uh, I had people come up to me afterwards after I'd done my first Paris trip uh, because they had talked to my friend David and his wife Janie about their, they were the first to go with me. And um, let me say that all together. They were the first to go with me. <laughs> And uh, they've been chatting there at the Disneyana show and sale. So you can actually walk up to them at their booth and ask them about my trip. Uh, and I am at my own booth. So I'm not, you know, sticking and st <laughs> going at, you know, looking at them. So they have to say something nice. They say it nice because they had a good time. But many people came up and said, could you give us time to pay for it? Because as I said, it is an investment. Um, uh, and, uh, we want to make sure you get to do what you want to do. It's very wonderful, but, uh, but you can ask them, um, what they thought. And then, um, people said, if you could allow me to save up for it. So I'm going to create a deposit structure like a cruise ship. And that way you can deposit boom, 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 boom. Please understand that when we do that though, it'll be non-refundable. And the reason it is, is because I use that money that you give me to create your experience. So if you bail, yeah, um, yeah, it's hard because we're, we're doing things to get you in places. I'm really working to be Terry's version of Adventures by Disney. So in some areas I can do that because I find the people that can help me do that. So, so, you know, it's something to think about. Um, and we'll go like, for example, maybe if you were to postpone before a deadline date, uh, you can get your money back. This is all the things I'm going to try and figure out. And then maybe it'll be a year in advance, which is why I'm not doing it, but I'll talk more when we get the chance. So Nate's right. He does want to be a part of it. Oh, the Tiki gods. Yes. <laughs> okay. I didn't know what you were talking about, Leah. I'm sorry. Monday. Uh, they shut down our electricity. They're repairing our electricity. So I'm watching on my phone. Oh, Bob, we missed you today. But that explains it. We missed you. Um, and so it's good to see you on your phone. Thank you for coming and popping in. I appreciate it. Uh, Michael Morris says, you meet Jim Henson. And, and again, yes, I did. I should show you a picture, huh? I don't know if I have it. Let me see. If I can show you, it's not a super close up picture, but it is a picture. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> we actually not only met, but we did a show together. We were designing 
a puppet show together and um, it never got made. So I may make it later in all my spare time, which isn't a lot. I'm looking to see if I have it, the picture. And if I don't, um, I am surprised. Well, I mean, I'm not that surprised because honestly, guys, uh, most of my pictures came before digital and um, <clears throat> they're not so great, but they do exist. Uh, but I don't see it. So maybe for the Ask Me Anything, I will see if I can find that for you guys. Okay. Yeah, because I don't, I do not see it. Me no see it, which surprises me because I thought I would have it in there, but I don't. I'm just looking. Yeah. I've got Dolly Parton. She's all through it, but I don't have, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find it for you guys. Okay. Yeah. Cause right now it is not here. Yeah, it's not. It's just not. I'm going to look again one more time. I found it. See? Takes good to persevere. Here it is. So you see, here is Jim in the middle. And then the woman with her mouth open, as usual, is me. Right, uh, right above Kermit the Frog. I told you it's a fuzzy picture. And the reason it is is because it's a photograph <laughs> where you took a camera and then you took the film and you developed the film and got a photo. There was no such thing as digital. I'm 65 years old. <laughs> That's the way a lot of my pictures were. So there you go. To answer your question, yes, I met Jim Henson. Hey, Terry, happy Monday. How are you? I'm good. My voice is not so good. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri's trying to interrupt now. You know, she has a lot of nerve, that sister, that sister Siri's trying to interrupt us. Evelyn Meyer, no. <laughs> not quite sure what that means either, Evelyn, but I'm sure you'll remember, you'll remind me. We were very happy with our meals at Carnation while we were there. Even ate there twice. Good, Nate. So that's good. That's why I ask you guys the question, because sometimes it'll come across and the experience is different for each person, isn't it? What kind of tea is your tea? Earl Grey, green tea, oolong? Oh, you know them all, Joe. Today it was lemon ginger. Yeah, with honey. Yeah, that kind of honey that you get the comb. The honeycomb, not a hair comb. <laughs> Side. because I, I want all of the, um, you know, antioxidant and benefits of a good honey and you don't want it too processed or they process that out of that, don't they? So my honeys are, yeah. So those are my honey, honey. <laughs> the flatbread at Red Rose Tavern, I meant, hope they don't take it off the menu like they like to do popular items. Yes, I got that, Janet. Yeah, I understood what you're saying. Also, a friend had a turkey leg the other day and it was smaller. Boy, what are they getting smaller turkeys? I always look for a smaller turkey actually, cuz I like to brine it. Do you know what brining is? Anyway, I like to brine it in my in my uh vegetable tray in a vegetable container. Yeah, I learned that somewhere and I actually have a video on YouTube that shows you how to brine it in your, in your vegetable thing. So it keeps it nice and comfy. Yeah. Silly, huh? So when you said smaller Turkey, my husband and I are only the two that eat at Thanksgiving, unless we go see his mom or his family or something. So I always look for a small Turkey, but that's a shame that Disney's looking for a small Turkey. <laughs> this looks like a chicken leg. Mmm. I feel piratey <laughs> eating a chicken leg. Do you have to talk in a high voice, which I won't do today because my voice is finally coming back. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. That's, 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 yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go and just experience the food, aren't I? I'm so thankful for your Zoom calls, not just to get to know you better, but everyone else in the tribe too. It's one of the positives of COVID. How nice of you to say that, Holly Mac. 
Holly is uh, an amazing person, not just because she's in the tribe, but because we get to learn about people like her too, and her two lovely children and her husband. And um, both of her kids love Lego. And boy, on the Zoom call, do I have a story for you about Lego, Holly, this week. Remind me of it if you're when you're on the call, okay? You won't believe this. This is absolutely like one of the silly and stupid things that Terry does on occasion. Um, we all do it. And this time I really did it. You're going to laugh. Uh, really, really laugh. But I want to, I, 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 I'm not going to tell you guys here now. You can ask me on Friday. But the tribe, uh, we'll talk about it on Wednesday. Yeah, definitely we will. Uh, the lightning strike symbol, you angered the tiki gods. Thank you, Leo. Ah, oh, now I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm kind of focused on my voice today. So you are so cute. Ah, uh, Shirley is saying, Vorad. Do you guys know what these these code words mean? Don't tell me if they're not kind, because right now I like being oblivious. But if they're kind, thank you, Shirley. Um, breaking news: A. Muppet Mayhem, follow Dr. Teeth. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. He's in the zone there, Joe. Joe. Oh, hi, Joe. Living Ginger with Honey. Yep. That should knock that groggy throat out right away. And today I will spend a lot of time. I'm going to rest it a little bit and do a couple of things that I need to do before I do the call. Like I had mentioned to Angie, I'm going to talk to one of their uh, Adventures by Disney people, but I think I'm going to wait until this comes back. And then, um, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but, but I, I think I found a chessboard, uh, maker for the Rolly Crump chess set. I was looking for an artisan to do it, but I think I found an actual company that manufactures them. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I, I want to again rest and then I'm going to call them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping that I'm hoping, I'm hoping I looked at their website yesterday and I looked at everything that I looked at. So I'm kind of going to see, um, what, you know, just got to see if there's somebody there that can actually talk to me and help me with it. Yeah, I, I'm praying. I'm praying. And the band coming to Disney Plus, Bill Bill Barrett's or Bill Barrett's? Because it's probably Bill Barrett's. Bill's very active in the Muppets right now. And, well, he should be. He's very good. Yeah. Barrett. Oh, Barrett's. Barrett's. Okay, cool. I was thinking it might be Bill Barrett. So, you know. Next year's turkey legs will be the actual chicken legs, but they'll still call them turkey legs and price them like they were unicorn legs. <laughs> and you'll have to talk in a high voice if you want one. It's You, you don't get to have them. Auto spell. Beretta. Yes, Beretta. I thought it was Bill Beretta. Yeah, yeah. Auto correct tends to want to punk you, doesn't it? It's amazing. On Friday, everybody was getting punked by the autocorrect. Remember that, Leo? Yeah, when we were having our Ask Me Anything, everybody was getting, you know, uh, jolted by that. So, um, yeah, Bill Beretta's. But Bill is really good. And uh, his brother, too, actually. Um, great guys. And uh, it doesn't surprise me. Um, he's someone that should, you know, Disney's very lucky to have him because he's very true to the brand. And uh, I love that about him. Yeah. Can you remind me what you wanted me to ask, George, please? You already took care of it. Okay, Bob, you're fine. You are off the hook, okay? I actually communicated with George because George said, Bob Dean reached out and said I should talk to you. So he sent me an email, and I sent him one back explaining to him about the Rolly Crump chess set because um, – He's someone who who pro takes such great pride in his collection that I wanted to make sure he knew about this Rolly Crump chess set. It may not be anything that he wants, but Bob, I want to be sure that people who want this chess set know about it. it I don't think there's going to be a lot of the full chess sets offered because it not only will command an investment of quite a bit, but it's also going to need real estate. It is the it is a large, oversized chess set. And right now, if you were to set it on a table, it would probably be a card table. So uh, as a result, I want people, I want to be sure the word gets out because there may only be a handful offered for the big chess set. Now we have a couple of other levels that we're going to be offering so that people can buy representations of the Museum of the Weird. 
But for the chess set, I just want as many people to know about them as possible so we can kind of see what we're looking at once I'm done. Um, I'm thinking of the launch date for, I'm praying that the launch date can be October. It'll just be a matter of me getting my act together and things falling into place and aligning the way that they need to be. So more on the Rolly Crump chess set later. And if you have questions about that, ask me anything Friday, okay? At WDW, they haven't changed, uh, charged us extra for sharing a meal, whether we eat at a Disney Springs or at the resorts. Yeah, we got to keep that cool, though, Evelyn, because we don't want to give them ideas, do we? Just between you and me. Right? Yeah. Bob says, hey, Terry, can you remind me what you, yes, I already said that, didn't I? Yes, yes. Don't need to. I already talked to George. So sit back, relax. And heal, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. You're a doll. You're always working to help me out. Paul, good morning. I think I've won one raffle in my life. I won a private tour to the archives and lunch at the Rotendo with Dave. <gasps> Was that awesome? <gasps> that must have been so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you just look back on the things that when we've lost those people to heaven that were really special? Yeah. Yeah, my friend Philo Barnhart, who is the designer of The Little Mermaid, remembers when he was a little boy, he sat on Walt's lap with a cup of pencils, kind of playing with the pencils in Walt's lap as Walt talked to his father, who did uh, background art, like Claude Coates. Yeah, yeah, I worked with Claude Coates a lot. Yeah, yeah, another Barnhart. You can see it in The Sleeping Beauty. If you look in the credits for layouts, he's there. Yeah, yeah. Barnhart, not a lot of Barnharts, right, in Disneyland. But, yeah, he has that memory. So just like you, Paul, you you pull forward this memory with Dave Smith. It must have been just magical. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Dave's quite a guy, isn't he? Yeah, archive school. Uh, Joe says, I just looked it up. Those weird comments are spam bots attempting to post links to sites with malware. Don't click on them, folks. Just ignore the comments, Terry. Those accounts are hacked. Okay, I will. I will do that. I wonder if there's a way. I don't really want to do too much to block them because uh, I want you guys to be able to get in. So hopefully, yeah, don't click on them, guys. Who would click on a comment anyway? Do you guys click on comments? I mean, if it's like that, which is completely understand you confusing, we wouldn't do that, would we? I mean, you might answer Leo or something, but but just answer like you answer here. I love the way you answer here, where you just sort of let everybody hear what your answer is. So keep that up. And thank you. Thank you, Joe, for checking that out. Because I've always wondered if, you know, they're telling me, you know, <laughs> they're flipping me off in another language. <laughs> <laughs> not that I would care, would like get all, you know, because I won't give airtime to haters at all. But I was curious. I will say that. Guys, we are at a one, oh, just under one and a half hours. Thank you for allowing me to chat with you today. I'm going to go rest my voice now. I will see you Friday for Ask Me Anything Friday. If you think you'd like to be a member of Terry's Tribe, please go to patreon.com slash Terry Harden and join us. It's a lot of fun. We'd love to get to know you, hear about what you have to say, and uh, uh, talk about stuff that we cannot talk about here. We do that a lot there. Uh, love you bunches. Before I go, I'm going to say, do something nice for someone else. It'll make you feel a whole lot better, just like Joe did with that warning not to click on those statements, okay? So have a lovely week. It's beautiful out here. It's crisp and cold with a touch of sun. So it's, I don't see a lot of clouds, but it's that really brisk, like 60s weather, which is my kind of weather, guys. It, so before I know it, it's going to be hot. So I really revel in the cold weather. I love being able to wear the scarves. And this is my work robe because I was working a little bit before. So I'm thinking of you. I care about you. I love you. And I will see you again on Friday where you can ask me anything. All right, guys, be well. We'll talk soon. Have a good weekend.